Hi, I'm Jessica Kensky. And I'm Patrick Downs, the co-authors of Rescue and Jessica, a life-changing friendship. And this is... Rescue. <laughs> My service dog. And the star of the book. Kids have been so fascinated by us. When they see three metal legs and a dog in a red cape, in a, in a grocery store, they're just so overwhelmed with like new sights, they cannot help it and they literally have walked into walls. We've, you've seen it happen. I was getting frozen yogurt for Jess after a particularly hard day and I had just had surgery so I wasn't wearing a prosthetic, I was using crutches. And as I'm pouring the froyo, I hear a kid's voice behind me say, you don't have a leg. <laughs> And I turned around and I said, that's right. He goes, whoa. <laughs> I said, I know. I said, but sometimes I'm like a transformer because he was wearing a Transformers t-shirt and I put on a metal leg and then I can walk. He goes, no way. I said, what? <laughs> and he walked away with this huge smile on his face because he had like demystified this situation <laughs> and learned something really cool and related it to his Transformers. The book is this perfect space where I hope kids and adults are pausing on the pages, especially because Scott Magoon, I mean, not only did he do such a beautiful job in the artwork, but it was so important to us that it was really accurate. And so the prosthetics are very accurate. My residual limb is very accurate. Um, Wheelchairs, the, crutches. Yeah, the medical equipment is very accurate. So. It's a time to look and stare and how is Jessica using this to get around? Kids will be able to get to that point and ask those kind of questions. The staring is just this moment of taking in information mm -hmm. from which they have this launching point to look into more things online or to read more about rescue or to appreciate other people in their community who they realize might encounter the world differently. I'm a below knee amputee, so you, we really make it clear in the book what part of my leg is left, what part goes inside of this really hard carbon fiber socket. And these are just a couple, I mean, there's so many different disabilities and there's so many you know, different adaptive equipment. We're just introducing the kids to a couple. As you follow Jessica and Rescue through the story, there are some very poignant moments of their struggle and how hard what they're doing is, how much practice it takes, how much emotional energy it takes, how much physical energy it takes, and yet how as a team they're really able to unite and overcome some of those obstacles and then their strengths start to shine. You know, he's not trained as an emotional support animal. Um, he's trained as a service dog for someone with a physical disability but he lifts our spirits and he really did during some of our biggest struggles. And I, there were times where Patrick and I just literally had nothing left, but we could always go outside and throw a tennis ball for rescue. And watching him play or be at the dog park or go for a walk and sniff was just so therapeutic. I really can't describe it. It almost became like, our way to meditate. He's a service dog, but he's still a dog, so he does all sorts of goofy things. The looks on his faces, the noises he makes, his incredible drive to be fed and food at all <laughs> times, the way he plays, the way he sleeps. I mean, it's just, it's this uh, such welcomed character in our home who just brightens every day for us, even when we're having really bad days. It's so important to teach about tolerance and differences and kindness and um, overcoming obstacles. Like these are all really important things that do come out in our story. And we feel like rescue yeah. is the embodiment right. of all those things. Right. As he accompanies Jess on this journey, he has to summon all of those beautiful characteristics mm -hmm. to continue to accompany Jess through good times and bad. And so rescue mm -hmm. is this great little vehicle and he's so charming and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And he has so much to teach us about just this unbridled loyalty to one another. And not being afraid of really difficult moments, but instead stepping it up 